Do you know how easy it is to have a platform these days? Everyone has one. Everyone has TikTok, everyone has Instagram, everyone has Facebook. Everyone's starting podcasts saying dumb shit that they know nothing about. Everyone's spreading ideologies and advice that they know nothing about. Everyone's cancelling someone's whole existence judged on one thing that they might have said out of turn. I've been pretty judgmental. Because you know what's harder than saying dumb shit that you know nothing about? It's having the courage to start something new and put yourself out there for everyone to say whatever they want to say about you. And saying, fuck them. I'm gonna try and try and try and fail and fail and fail until I get it right. You know who else has dumb shit to say that they know nothing about? I do. You know who else wants to get cancelled about one thing they may have said out of place because it's not a part of today's society, but it might be pretty out there? I do. You know who else wants a slice of the fucking social media pie that you can influence a whole generation? I do. Without any more time killing, let's get into it because here's a day in the life of me. This is all my opinion, but I believe in the mental health triangle. Every single day, you must do something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Something that's enjoying, something that's challenging, but it also has to be implementable. It has to be something that you can do consistently every day and not burn out from. So instead of a full on day in the life, this is more of a day in the life for mental health. My job is very rinse and repeat. It's the same shit every day. It's like all you do is stack, unpack, talk to customers, yada yada yada. It's retail bullshit. It's one of those mindless droneless jobs where there's not really any opportunity to learn. I'm not furthering myself in any way. So therefore, I've got to learn in other places. I like books, okay? I like to read. Well, my girlfriend <laughs> likes to read. Learning's not only book work, and it doesn't have to be boring. You can also pick up a new skill on YouTube. With the internet, the possibilities are boundless and endless. So there is no excuse. Books, YouTube, podcasts, um, things that I don't know nothing about. Things that I can learn about. Things that I enjoy, that keep my mind occupied and that are sustainable for me to do every day. Now this one I'm heavily invested in because I believe in 100%. People who use movement or exercise to combat their problems are stronger than the rest. There's a point where you begin to lose the momentum of motivation to work out. And then it becomes a need to work out. And the days I'm at rest and I don't move my body are the days that I feel the most sad. I work out now because it's the only place where I don't have to think about what I didn't do or what I'm supposed to be doing. I just think about what I am actually doing. The long hard work that it takes to get exercise dopamine will far outweigh any dopamine that you get and any sense of pleasure from a quick and automatic drug. Because I earned it. I earned it and something feels so much better when you worked for it. I originally began exercising for aesthetic purposes. But that's changed now because I finally understand that confidence doesn't come from without. Out, without, without. Confidence doesn't come from the outside, it comes from the inside. And I know that's cheesy and corny, but it's true. But now I work out because I understand that confidence comes from within. It's in within myself that I'm confident enough to understand that I want to be the strongest, healthiest, most long lasting, enjoyable version of myself. And I can find that through moving. But what I don't want to do is forever be chasing the next, the absolute best end all and be all look or shape. Because if I'm always chasing that greatness and that perfection, I'm never gonna enjoy what's here. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting faster, I'm getting better. Although sometimes it doesn't feel like it. And the best part is, oh my gosh, you can just channel all your negativity throughout these workouts. I find that those workouts where I do those things tend to be the best. You may say that I may get too far where I develop um, body dysmorphia and I hate myself. A lot of bodybuilders and people chasing that look tend to do that. Or you might even say I've picked up an addiction. I would agree that it is an addiction, but what's wrong with an addiction to win? I don't see the problem with that. As long as you keep everything else in check and don't cut off friends and family or things that you enjoy to do so, I see no problem with winning. The most important part is at the end of the day, those moments where I push myself, where I don't feel like going, but I go anyway, those moments make me want to wake up and do it all over again. 
That is the dream. That is the fun of it. That is the excitement and the joy. So was a hard one because it's it's there's no there's no like definitive answer. Good for your soul. What determines something that's good for your soul? I guess it has to be an activity that gives you purpose with things that you enjoy that doesn't negatively affect others or yourself. Like you can enjoy smoking weed let's give an example you can enjoy smoking weed but if that negatively impacts someone else by the way you have mood swings or the way you can't control your emotions while on weed or if it negatively impacts yourself by not allowing you to fulfill your purpose that's not really a soulful activity for me a soulful activity is fulfilling my purpose it's really hard to get out there and create these videos. You don't know what people are going to say until you upload these videos. But by the time you upload them and then people have their feedback, it's too late. Can't change it. It's already there. I like this. I feel like making videos is my purpose. It's my, it's my life purpose. If I can help others and help myself through making these. And if I can figure out what's going on, if that this gets me any closer to figuring out what the fuck life is, I feel like it's fulfilling for me. I wanna connect with people and I feel like this can allow me to do that and I feel like I deserve more in life. I put myself down too many times, but I just, you know that feeling where you you're, you feel like you're so deserving of something and you know that you're different, but it's hard to explain to people how different you are, but you just know? I feel like I'm different, and this is my difference, and this sets me apart from the rest. I can't explain it. It's just a soul feeling. To be as clear as can be, all those things that I just mentioned for your mind, body, and soul, yeah, that's good. Do I do all those things every single day? Fuck no. No way. Is there times where I go without a whole week without doing those and I just fall into a depressive state? Fuck yes. All the time. But when I'm doing all three of those in a combination and although I push myself to my limits and I physically feel tired, I soulfully and emotionally just feel like that I've done my job. I feel fulfilled. I feel like those things, although hard now, are setting me up in the long run. And those are the days, those are the days which I'm at my happiest and I'm at my highest. Things that, things that get in the way, and I feel like even if you drop off those two, I feel like even though those are the three main components, even if you drop off and just have two left, it's easier for those two to pick up that last one and to push you towards that last one, rather than falling off all three together. Because if you fall off all three, it's so much harder to, to continue back and to get one and then two and then three, get your mind, your body and your soul just all going again. I feel like if you have both, if you have at least two of those going per day, they'll pick up the slack where one's missing. Am I perfect? No, no one's perfect. I wish I could do those three every day. Some days I do. And those days where I do all those three are the days where I'm most, where everything just harmonious and everything just matches and everything just Although it's not going your way, you make it go your way. I know I'm not talking in any sense right now, but that's just how I feel. But anyway, that's the video for this week. 
that is the perfect day in the life for mental health, which is not me at all. That's how I would ideally like to go. But I'm going to keep making these videos. I'm going to keep not knowing what I'm doing to hopefully one day understand what it is that I am doing. Thank you. Goodbye.